This morning we're catching up with the front woman of one of the most successful rock bands of the past two decades, Evanescence. Amy Lee's hauntingly beautiful and powerful voice first exploded into the charts back in 2003 when the band released their now iconic debut album Fallen, which went straight to number one here in Australia. Its lead single, Bring Me To Life, topping the charts the world over. Amy Lee, welcome to the Today Show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I think it's been was 17 years since Fallen came out. The songs were huge. You know, I imagine that that changed all of your lives very quickly. Well, that cover of Fallen was my 21st birthday, the day that we did that photo shoot. Um, and I'd only, you know, been out of high school for two years. Seeing our music video um, on MTV and having it not be like a fluke that it played one time, it was really happening. That stuff was all really cool. So when I look back, like I, I have a great appreciation for a lot of that stuff now that in the moment, it's not that I didn't appreciate it, but it was hard to focus on it and completely just live in the moment carefree. And that's life, right? Everything's coming at you all at once. There's good, there's bad. You gotta do your best, just like navigate it and, and focus on what you need to and hopefully what, what you should, you know, the good stuff. I feel like that's very good advice for 2020, Amy. <laughs> Everything's Dude. coming at us, we just gotta stay focused. Out of your control, no yeah. matter what you want. <laughs> 2020 don't care. It's so great to have you guys back with some new music. Tell me a little bit about Wasted On You. I just was procrastinating not working on the lyrics to a song I was supposed to be working on in my own head and wrote that song on like New Year's Eve. Um, for the most part, and then when we got together as a band, everybody liked it a lot, and uh, we finished it together right that the bridge. And your family has helped you shoot the videos in lockdown, is that right? We were being forced to learn all kinds of stuff. It's been cool, we kind of went through like a little film school um, with our director, Paul Brown, who just like taught us stuff about our phones. It's amazing what the iPhone is capable of, and I didn't even realize. Now, during the course of my research for this interview, I found um, an interesting quote uh, about a description, how best to sum up um, Evanescence. Goth Christian new metal with a twist of melancholy Enya. I love Enya. I love Enya. Yeah, so, she's okay. I'll, I'll, give them, I'll give them that one. Tell me about how uh, your music and your processes have evolved over the years. I think it's all about keeping it fresh. Um, we've evolved in a lot of ways. More than anything, we've had a lot of experience. We've played a ton of live shows, and um, this band that we have now, um, we love and respect each other very much. I'm really looking forward to hearing um, the rest of the album, which isn't far away, I hear. I hope so. Um, we are working now about like making plans to get back together. Um, it's been a hard thing to reconvene, um, obviously. Um, we're kind of spread out. We don't all live on the same street. In fact, Jen lives in another country. Um, so figuring out how to do that is going to be different this time. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you, Thank you. stay safe and well over in Nashville. You stay well. Be careful and I hope to see you really soon. She is an incredible talent, isn't she? Like, what a voice she has. Evanescence's new single, Wasted On You, is out now. And keep your eyes and ears peeled for that new album of theirs as well, which isn't too far away, guys. I'm